The Italian pasta company Berea found itself in hot water Friday after its CEO made inflammatory comments about LGBT couples. During an Italian radio interview, Berea CEO Guido Berea told the host the pasta company would never feature gay couples in their advertisements, adding he prefers to target traditional families. When the show's host pointed out the gay and lesbian couples eat pasta, Berea replied, if they like our pasta and our communication, they can eat them. Otherwise, they can eat another pasta. Internet protests over the CEO's inflammatory words quickly sprang up on social media as the hashtag Boycotta Berea started trending. And gay rights advocates around the world quickly called for a boycott of the pasta brand. Competing pasta makers Butoni and Bertoli jumped on the civil rights bandwagon posting pro-LGBT pasta pics to their Facebook pages. It's worth mentioning Bertoli has already featured a gay couple in this Italian ad, which originally aired in 2009. Berea apologized for his remarks in a series of statements posted to the company's website. Through the entire life, I've always respected every person I've met, including gays and their families, without any distinction. I've never discriminated against anyone. But the damage was done. Berea's apology rang false to many critics who blasted the pasta CEO for his perceived insincerity of his mea culpa. But will the scandal actually impact Berea? If history's any judge, the pasta company may not have much to worry about. The Week likens the Berea controversy to the homophobic remarks made by fast food chain Chick-fil-A's CEO Dan Cathy in 2012. Almost immediately following Cathy's comments, Chick-fil-A's popularity plummeted. However, Chick-fil-A's total 2012 sales ultimately showed the fast food chain was unscathed, even though its popularity had, at least at some point, fallen. And the internet outrage has come full circle at Slate, where a writer is boycotting the boycott and arguing against getting too worked up over a corporation's lack of public relations skills. I simply resent being told I should change my shopping list every time some old C-suite dude runs his out-of-touch mouth or offers to sponsor my next parade. Getting riled up about the inane statements of a random businessman is really a kind of activism in support of the corporation's increasing power in our society. And that's something I just can't stomach. Berea hasn't said whether or not they plan to include gay couples in future ads, but Take Part has already beaten them to the punch. Barilla, the pasta every gay man loves to eat. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.